Hello everyone, today we're exploring a crucial topic that's often misunderstood. The Bible's view of women is frequently misrepresented, but what does it really say? In today's society, women are often objectified and degraded. Pornography and human trafficking are just a few examples. But is this truly freedom? Are women's dignity and honor being respected? Unfortunately, ancient cultures weren't much better. Women were treated as inferior often regarded as personal possessions. Contrast this with the Bible from cover to cover. It exalts women, acknowledging their equal value and dignity. In Genesis 1:27, we read, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God he created them. Male and female he created them. Women, like men, bear the stamp of God's image. A prudent wife is from the Lord. Jesus himself treated women with dignity, valuing their discipleship and ministry. In Luke 8 to 1 to 3, the 12 were with him, and also some women who had been cured of evil spirits and diseases, Mary, called Magdalene, Joanna the wife of Chusa, the manager of Herod's household, Susanna, and many others. Jesus' disciples included several women, a practice almost unheard of among the rabbis of his day. Women play prominent roles in biblical narratives. The Bible acknowledges and celebrates the priceless value of a virtuous woman. Proverbs 12 4 says, A wife of noble character is her husband's crown. Christianity, born at the intersection of East and West, elevated the status of women to an unprecedented height, emphasizing their influence and virtues. In Galatians 3:28, we there read, There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female. In Genesis 20:24. We see women as venerated partners, cherished companions. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him, Proverbs 19.14 says. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. Women are not only equals with men, but are also set apart for special honor. The early church reflected this equality. In Acts 1.12-14, we see women praying alongside the disciples. Women became prominent in the ministry of the early church. Acts 9 36 42 tells the story of Dorcas, known for her good deeds and charitable works. The Bible promotes feminine freedom, dignity, and honor. True beauty isn't about external appearances, but about the hidden person of the heart. 1 Peter 3 3 4 says, Your beauty should not come from outward adornment or jewelry, or rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. Thank you for joining me today. I hope we are better informed and there's been a shift in our mindset. Feel free to let me know if there's any gray area you want me to address. I'll gladly do that in the next video. Ciao. Stay blessed.